Hey guys, welcome back to Now I Know. Today we are talking about penetrance and expressivity. Now these two terms in genetics we use when we are talking about a group of individuals or population genetics. We are not talking about one single individual. Okay, so uh, let's start with penetrance first. Let me tell you in very simple way what penetrance means. All right, so what happens in penetrance is, um, say for example, I'm talking about group of individuals all the individuals in this group, say for example there are 100 people in the group all these individuals have one specific allele A okay all of them have specific allele A which codes for some specific phenotype okay all of them have the same genotype that codes for a specific phenotype we are expecting a phenotype associated with this genotype but what happens is due to certain factors not all the hundred individuals would show the phenotype associated with this genotype that means in all the hundred individuals not necessary that this genotype will expressed let's say for example only 40 out of this hundred shows the phenotype that is associated with this genotype only 40 out of 100 now penetrance is always expressed in percentage so 40 out of 100 becomes 40 percent so penetrance for this 100 people over here for this population is 40 percent so what penetrance means is uh, the percentage of individuals with a given genotype who would actually show the phenotype associated with that particular genotype that means the percentage of individual expressing this genotype and giving us the phenotype or in other words the percentage of individuals actually showing the expected phenotype that's what we saw right out of this hundred all of them are having this uh, genotype A but all of them are not expressing only 40 will show the associated phenotype so 40 percent is the penetrance so the percentage of individuals that actually shows the expected phenotype is called the penetrance very easy to understand now there can be uh, various reason why these individuals are not showing the associated phenotype all of them would have that particular genotype but they'll not express the associated phenotype say for example in case of epistatic gene we just talked about it in last video or due to some environmental factors these genes are not able to express so let's take an example of this now say for example we are talking about uh, 10 individuals all these 10 individuals would have the genotype okay uh, say for example talking about some gene A all of them would have this genotype but not all would express this genotype and give us the phenotype say for example only uh, how many one two three four out of ten has given us the phenotype associated with this genotype so 40 percent is the penetrance for this group of individual now let's take one real example for this uh, in humans there is a bone disease called osteogenesis imperfecta in case of people with osteogenesis imperfecta there is a dominant mutation in a gene that codes for collagen and collagen as we know that we need for strengthening the bones and muscles so that results in osteogenesis imperfecta now what happens is uh, people with this particular uh, disease would have weak bones definitely because collagen production there is a mutation in the gene bluish color in whites of their eyes and also weakness in joints and teeth these are the symptoms or you know this is what happens when a person has this particular disease this particular disease does not affect everyone with this mutation in same way all right that means all of them all suppose 100 individuals those who have uh, this particular disease would not have the same outcome they, they will all not express the gene okay maybe out of 100 few of them who carry the mutation would show the symptoms would have the disease but few of them would not have any symptoms even though they would carry the mutation they would not express it so they will have no symptoms so what happens is when such an individual who will carry the mutation but will not have the expression will not have the phenotype will not have the disease will have the tendency to definitely pass on to the next generation without knowing it what I mean by this say for example this particular individual over here is having the disease uh, 
and will give rise to some progeny say for example and this progeny q does not have the symptoms it is not expressing that gene it is carrying the mutation but it does not express the gene so it looks normal okay and when this particular individual q give rise to progeny say for example here it gives rise to four progeny out of which two are affected but again two r and s are not showing the disease it is not showing the phenotype so so now looking at this r and s simply we can't make sure that you know whether it will have the affected progeny or not right say for example q was okay perfectly fine did not show the phenotype but 50% of its progeny did show the phenotype this is the example of penetrance even though all the individuals would carry the genotype but it is not necessary that all of them would express it and give us the phenotype so penetrance is expressed in percentage as i said this you know when we say there is Uh, all the individuals are showing the phenotype that means it is 100% penetrance is 100% all the individuals have the phenotype associated with the genotype but if there is anything uh, less than 100% you know that is the incomplete penetrance all right that is an example of incomplete penetrance because it does not show 100% penetrance anything less than that is called incomplete penetrance okay now this is you know simply whether there is expression or there is no expression it is yes or no it is as simple as that but what happens in case of expressivity let's see expressivity is extent to which a given phenotype is expressed at phenotypic level what do i mean by this say for example you know let's make it very uh, easy to understand let's talk about a genotype a gene that codes for a specific phenotype and that phenotype is pigment over here let's say we are talking about eye pigment so it is possible that there is a uh, allele a which is responsible for red color eye pigment and all the individuals that has this allele a is going to express it and give us the phenotype that is red pigment but the level of expression is different for every individual it is not going to be the same so that means the extent to which a given genotype is expressed at phenotypic level say for example this person over here this individual has the dark red color then you have a moderate red color pigment then you have little lesser than that very light red color so there is a variation right we know that even we talk about hair pigmentation brown color hair there is variation right all of us would have different shades of brown i also maybe blue color dark blue light blue so that is because of the expressivity it is going to differ the expression is going to differ among the individuals so it is an extent or the you know how much of that particular genotype is expressed as i said in case of penetrance it was simply it is present or not present but in case of expressivity there is uh, you know measurement of how much to what extent that particular genotype is expressed now let's take an example for this the classic example to understand expressivity is the marfan syndrome okay marfan syndrome the symptoms vary widely Marfan syndrome results because of a dominant mutation in a gene that codes for fibrillin in the individual okay so all the individuals that are affected with marfan syndrome would have this particular mutation but some people would have only mild symptoms whereas some people would show real serious life threatening uh, complications say for example some people would have symptoms like just being tall and thin would have long and slender fingers but some people would have real complex problems like uh, cardiac uh, related problems which involves heart and blood vessels that can be really complicated situation so marfan syndromes the symptoms varies widely right for this people say for example it is not going to be that serious compared to people having such life threatening complications so the extent to which this particular uh, genotype is express is an example of expressivity okay so marfan syndrome is classic example to understand this because you know some people are mildly affected and some people are affected to a higher extent so just to sum it up all in one you know let's take a look at this diagram 
Here as you can see the presence of a phenotype is there in some of the individuals but not in all. So that means it's an example of incomplete penetrance, right? Not all of them are showing the phenotype. So that is an example of incomplete penetrance simply by looking at you know whether it is present or it is absent. It is as simple as that. So in case of expressivity, the phenotype is present for all the individuals, but the degree at what it is expressed, the extent of expression of that particular genotype at phenotypic level varies widely. So as you can see, all of them do show the phenotype, but to extent to which it is expressed differs widely. So that is variable expressivity. Okay, so that is how much of that particular, to what extent that particular gene is expressed. Here you can see mix of both. Some of them do have the phenotype, some of them don't. And also there is a variation in this phenotype that is expressed. So it's an example where you can see incomplete penetrance and variable expressivity both together. So that's all about penetrance and expressivity. I hope this video was helpful. Do subscribe to the channel for new video every week. And I'll see you next time. Until then, keep learning.